to another daily vlog my hair is kind of just pushed aside due to the dancing that just um exuded exude exuded that you just saw um and i feel good today i feel so good i feel so freaking good i think i'm gonna start doing more bath soaks and salt baths more regularly because goddamn a girl feels brand new I feel like she shifted timelines again um yeah i made my pesto eggs again so if you're just watching this, I made this recipe in a couple of vlogs ago. It's literally just uh, nine grain toast toasted with nine grain toast, nine grain bread toasted with garlic hummus spread on it, and then spinach and tomato pesto, pes tomato pesto, um, and three eggs cooked, fried to my liking. Obviously, you can probably do you can probably do a scramble. Like I'm not even gonna like, don't limit yourself. I like sunny side up eggs. You could do whatever eggs you feel deemed to do. Um, and I'm gonna eat this. Is it runny today? It's not overly runny, but this bitch got legs. It can jog. <laughs> it's taking a brisk walk. <laughs> oh, I'm so freaking hungry too. It's been like a few hours since I came back from the gym. I've just been reading and just chilling with myself and like posting videos and editing. I'm like just chilling and doing that. And it's so simple. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, then you just like pepper the eggs on top once it's done cooking. Peace, there is this don't. Mm -hmm. The gym was fun today. I did legs, almost died. The, the upper arm, I barely sweat. I barely sweat. My veins pop out a lot on my upper body when I do that, but like I barely sweat. Legs, I'm fighting for my life. Like the sweat. Like the sweat. And just like doing a leg workout, my body like goes into, I don't know, survival mode. It's like, um, excuse me, what are we doing? Now I know why guys skip legs, because they're the weakest link, <laughs> you know. Um, legs is a hard thing to do. Um, I think it requires more than just lifting your upper body. Because um, it incorporates not just one muscle, but a whole bunch of muscles, like bigger muscles. Where I feel like when you're using your upper body, there's big muscles like the chest, back, biceps, and triceps, but those have tinier muscles that aren't really, that get sore when you use them, but they don't, like, they don't do as much when you're lifting, so you don't sweat as much. At least I don't, anyway. Anyway, that makes no sense. It's not science, it's just my thought. Um, something that I've been realizing today is like there's a lot of, a lot of synchronicities popping up uh, around body loving your body loving yourself and then loving other people especially since yesterday's vlog i don't know if you watched it go back and watched it i talked about resistance and i talked about freedom and how when any whenever something new comes in any resistance that i feel or any fear of lack of freedom that i feel is just fear like i don't want to really reiterate it but if you saw it you saw it if you don't go back and watch because it's a really long talk um if you get it you get it if you don't you don't <laughs> along the lines of that talk talking about resistance and freedom um coming down to the presence of fear not feeling free or, or feeling resistance is because fear is there um a lot of synchronicities that have been coming up since like this morning and last night about talking about that and then today the pattern app mentioned me in the comment today the pattern app 
popped up and usually it has topics of what it pops up with. They popped up today with the title synchronicities. Let's read it. Today, synchronicities. Today you might experience something that's out of the ordinary. For the next few weeks, there's an energy that's encouraging people to expand into their higher selves. During this time, you or others around you might be able to tap into an enlightened state of consciousness, even if it's a brief moment of awareness. This is a good time to connect with others, having the same kinds of experiences, because it helps reinforce the feeling that everyone, everyone's in this together. Which, I, I just read, um, one of the books I'm reading is called, I think, Being Beautiful. It's just snippets of the perception of beauty. And one of the snippets that I read today was that we're all in this together. It's unity. And anybody, any man who is thinking that he is independently away from us is not unified, is not conscious, and is actually suffering. So for that to be like we're all in this together, understand that we're all in this together. Pay attention to synchronicities and any opportunities that present themselves now. Anyway. I feel good within myself, so I'm going to finish eating these, and then I have a couple edit some edit, uh, videos to edit, and some life to live. I think I may go downstairs, um, like during the sunset, and read. Um, in addition to the Being Beautiful book, I started reading Love and Color, which are mythical tales retold, um, and they're like tales about goddesses and gods but told in in love stories and it's so beautiful the first one that i read was osun it's a beautiful beautiful story oh my god i can't explain it i really can't explain it it's just a beautiful story if you i will show you later like when, I, when i'm up and about and show you the book itself but it's on my instagram if you're not following my instagram you should follow my instagram it's that crazy crystal lee what's up what do you do follow me i'll follow you that rhymed Freedom is vulnerability because you're not attached to the end result. You're attached to the adventure of it all and how it ends and how it ends is not to be a burden or a battle scar or a trophy taken with you as a remembrance of a horrible ending, but a remembrance of a beautiful adventure that ended the way it needed to be ended. So I did a quick Aldi hunt, Aldi hunt, Aldi run, because there's nothing in my home. I also need a toilet paper. And thank the Lord, they had the four count. They had one more of these left. The rest of it was like, I think, was a 12 count. Why am I going to do a 12 piece? No. I always get the four. I always get the four. It lasts me way longer. It, it, it lasts me long because I'm one person. And then like the 12 is just overwhelming. All I need is four. Bread, more of my favorite almond milk, caramel, two cans of garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans, chickpeas, whatever, I got two of those. Oh, I have pumpkin pancakes tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. I'm excited for that shit. I have chicken noodle soup. I forgot I have chicken noodle soup. I got label oranges because my heart skipped a beat when I saw them. So I was like, okay, so maybe I should get them. And plus it's, it makes sense since it's darker later and I need more vitamin C. Tomatoes for my chickpea sandwiches. Tortillas. Because bought chicken fajita, like pre-made meal. Ravioli, spinach and mozzarella. Salmon for salmon and rice. Two things of blueberries. My favorite chocolate covered blueberry acai snack. Stuffed baby bell mushrooms. So I finished editing my vlog and posted it. I did two TikToks, about well, one TikTok. And the other TikTok will be this one. I did two. No, I did two TikToks. And then I edited a lesson that I filmed a few days ago and I feel very productive today. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs and read because it's pretty dark in here and I have not yet gotten a light for my room. It's only have LED lights and I don't wanna really read in LED lights today, but this is the book I was talking about before, Love and Color. It's a beautiful book. Um, I think it's just about like 
gods and goddesses and like love stories about their creations and that about their lives but made up stories basically it's beautiful the first one i read beautiful made me cry about osun which i think is a goddess of love unless it's oshun which is but it was osun usually oshun goddess of love but i think osun is a different a different orisha um a different goddess i don't know i have to look that up but the story itself is a freaking beautiful and maybe like what an even more passionate love than I have. Oh. But I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to read and I'm going to drink some water and eat a granola bar because all I've had today was pesto, eggs, and bread. Did I just go grocery shopping? Yes. Do I feel like cooking anything that I got? No. Did I get anything that was a quick make? No. Because I'm a smart person. Today was a good day. Um, it was more of a day of self-care. Self-care. And I felt really good. Thank you for saying this far. I hope you had a great day. I'm grateful for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Was that a different riff? <laughs> Your girl's growing. Bye.